वेलकम टू लेरी मास्टर आर्किटेक्ट यूट्यूब चैनल यस्टर्डे ई लॉन्च मै ओन ट्रेनिंग पोर्टल कॉल रेड पेपी डाट काम ई विल एक्सप्लेन इन ए डिफरेंट वीडियो वाई ई स्टार्ट दिस ट्रेनिंग पोर्टल एंड हव इट बेनिफिट्स एस ए फस्ट कोर्स ई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू certified kubernetes administrator course this course is a hands on hands on one uh, even if you go for the certification it is very interactive you have to type commands you have to do it in the real time to clear the certification so i plan to make my course with a lot of practicals and some content with uh, with whiteboard uh, whiteboard sessions yeah, you will like it the kubernetes administrator certification will get a new syllabus from september 1st previously the exam was 3 hours now it is 2 uh, hours with a lot of changes in this video i am going to show you the syllabus and the changes that you will see for the new syllabus let's get started certified kubernetes administrator new curriculum will be launched on september 1 2020 this is from redpepi.com this is the syllabus 25% goes for cluster architecture install and configuration you have to create a master node and two worker node to practice this section you should not use a past service of cloud provider create a plain virtual machine and use cube adm to install a basic cluster practice all back and hcd backup and restore 15% goes to workloads and scheduling how deployment is working how to do the self healing manifest management such as json and ml with common templating tools pod networking then understand the cluster ip you will also need to learn about ingress controller such as nginx fi load balancer how the work with ingress resources learn about core dns and choose the network interface plugin such as flannel vivnet and all so 25 and 15% you should get 100 out of 100 in the exam that is important 20% services and networking the same thing it goes with some details how the networking configuration working between cluster nodes and how the pod networking works how to configure and use core dns 10% for storage you have to understand the storage classes pbs persistent volumes and persistent volume claims the policies to claim those volumes and then how to configure applications with persistent storage then troubleshooting 30% goes to troubleshooting this is the whole certified kubernetes administrator the cncf wants you to know the troubleshooting and how to operate the kubernetes cluster in the real time you must know about logging how to troubleshoot application failure component failure troubleshoot networking and all so look at the percentage i go back 25 plus 15 40% 20 and 10 here 30 70 so in the 70% section you have to get 70% out of 70% then practice troubleshooting so when you do that you are passing chances will increase so this is the general information for the new exam from september 1st i suggest you to book for the exam after september 10th don't go immediately they may have bugs or they may struggle to establish the new uh, new exam in online so wait for 10 days go after september 10th you'll be fine the previous exam was 3 hours now it is 2 hours total questions will be between 18 to 20 you can expect maximum 10 simple questions and 9 to 10 hard questions so you have to take 100% in simple questions so your passing chances will improve there are only three scoring patterns simple questions get 
medium 7%, hard questions get 8%. Expected passing score is 73%. We don't know that yet. It's in beta state. Once the exam come online on September 1st, 2020, we will come to know the passing score. But at any point of time, it is more than 75%. 60 to 70 percent questions comes from cluster troubleshooting and Kubernetes operations. You have to practice thoroughly to pass this exam. They have decreased the focus on config maps, secrets, and environment variables because Kubernetes will launch certified Kubernetes security specialist certification in November. They would like to move all those security related stuff to the new certification and the certified Kubernetes administrator will handle only the administration portion of Kubernetes. I give you a graph, which one goes up? Logging, monitoring and troubleshooting, 15% went up in the new syllabus. You have to practice them thoroughly. Storage, 3%, cluster architecture, install configuration, workload and scheduling, went up 2%. Security came down to 12%. Core concepts and networking came down to 10%. As I mentioned before, the security and networking will take a prime role in the certified Kubernetes security specialist certification. So the increase the cluster architecture, logging, monitoring, storage in the certified Kubernetes administrator certification. I will launch the course on or before October 15, 2020 at redpepe.com. You can go and pre-order the course now. I got 27 pre-orders now. You can go to redpepe.com, use your credit card, and also use the discount code. I give you discount code until October 10, so you can get some discount when you buy this course. However, once you register for this course, once you do the pre-order, you can always contact me with your questions. I can help you with your questions, right? How to prepare for the certification. I will guide you. So please go to redpepe.com today. Use this promo code and give the pre-order for this CKA course. Thank you.